my first vlog, well, flight attendant vlog of the year. I haven't worked in two weeks because I've been trying to move. And I'm finally all moved in. So this is the start of a four day trip. Today I have three legs and I'm tired. Y'all, I'm doing so good. I haven't ate out in over a week. It's probably been about, it's a week and probably about a week and three days. I haven't done that in like years. So that's great. Today I'm just gonna make some oatmeal and some coffee. Oh, I'm sitting here. Let me let that coffee start making because I can't think straight. So um, yeah, so stay tuned, stay with me. I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm so glad I don't have to do a two and a half hour commute anymore. So that's fabulous, that's fabulous. I'm just doing like a 10 minute drive and I'm there. So it feels good because if I would have had to, um, with this trip, if I would have had to commute from Birmingham, I would have had to wake up at like one or two in the morning because of that hour time difference and that two and a half hour drive. So thank you most high, all praises. So yeah, I'm gonna make my coffee and start my day. Stay with me. Okay, you guys, I'm in the car. So I was feeling a little sad about my hair at first because I let my girl cut it, my stylist cut it. And I cut the dead ends before my sewing, but it, look, it feels and looks so much healthier. Like my ends look so good. Like it's giving what it should give. So I feel so much confident about it now. But um, I'm out of breath, y'all. I had to carry my... um all through my work bags and my trash so i'm tired like i am tired but um i'm heading i don't know how to get there i think i know how to get there but today the day to try and test how to get there so i am i have an hour and about three minutes to get inside the airport for my report time so let's go <music> Okay, you guys, I'm pretty shocked. I didn't get random, so yeah, let's head to my gate. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I made it to my gate. We board in about an hour, probably. About, yeah, about 45 minutes. So just give me time to just chill and just relax and make sure I have everything on board. What else? Um, yeah, this is a 200 flight, so I'm the only flight attendant, like I like to be. Um, what else? It is a coffee, tea, and water flight. So, um, so, um, that's that. And, yeah. I miss this plane. I miss, I miss work, but it's just good. Also, not working, but I'm blessed to be working. But yeah, so um, let's get started. I gotta make sure catering has, has came and it has not come. So yeah, stay tuned. Good. They're supposed to go in your water, but I don't be adding water. I be um just 
taking them to the head. They good. But, um, I can't think. What am I saying? Oh. Don't find no maintenance delay, y'all. Uh-uh. Okay. We made Toronto. We're about to go back to Atlanta. And V is there. Her and Fernando. They, um, their flight is delayed eight hours. So I'm gonna go have lunch with them when I get back because your girl is starving. And I have a two hour sit. So yeah, so stay with me, stay with me. I'm hungry. Okay, you guys, I just finished having like Subway with B and Fernando. Why my eye look like that? Christmas and napkins too. Girl, you good. Take everything, whatever you need. You good. So um, now we're delayed because of weather. There's some big storms coming through here. So yeah, stay with me. Y'all, the weather is so bad here. Like, they had a bunch of tornadoes in Alabama, so we're getting it now. But we have yet to leave. Um, So many people have complimented me on my hair today, so. I promise y'all it look better in person than right here. But, um, so, we're not able to leave. There's, like, tornado warnings. It's bad. Like, they shut the, um, ramps down. It is so bad out here, y'all. We were supposed to leave at 3.15. It is currently 4.34. We are getting ready to board. I'm tired. So glad I ate. Okay, guys. Stay with me. Made it to Columbus. It was a bumpy flight. Right now I'm heading to this pizza spot I like to go to here. Um, I'm just running in real quick to get my pizza and then I'm running back out. <laughs> Y'all know if you know me, I don't walk anywhere, but this is quick. Like it's like pretty really close. So yeah. Uh, the pizza is so good. It's homemade. It's not like no pizza hut pizzas. It's like good. So, all right, you guys, stay with me. Okay, good morning, guys. I gotta be quick, cause I got like 10 minutes to get downstairs, make coffee and go. So, um, I have a four leg day. I go from here to, I think, Roanoke, Virginia again. So that's coffee, tea, and water service. And then I do, um, it's cold outside, I'm gonna put this jacket on. And then I do, um, I think that dogs I stay tonight. I don't know, but. I need coffee, bye. I don't like TVs that at hotels that when you walk in, it's motion sent, motion detected or whatever. And you can, they can, they automatically, the volume automatically cuts. What's wrong with these couches? Why do they look like this? Anyway, y'all. This last leg was probably the worst leg I've ever experienced since I've been here. Um, I'm trying to take my shoe off. Was Yeah, it was definitely the worst. Oh my God, like I was literally shaking, trembling, and it wasn't turbulent. Let's talk about it. So basically, it's been windy all day. Like, <sighs> it's been extremely windy. And I just, I just, I just roll with the punches. I just roll with it. Like, it's been a struggle to land. Well, not land, but it's just like we've been coming in fast. 
But this last one, we came in like very quick, like art, like we usually land slowly like this, but we were landing like this and we were going in so fast. So we hit the ground and went back up. So this is how it looked. We went, hit the ground and went right back up. Like, and then we circled back around. Passengers were looking at me. I was looking at them. They were looking at me. I was looking at them. A man got up to go to the bathroom. I said, sir, please sit down. I have no clue what is happening right now. Just just sit down. We 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 in this together. Just sit down. Once he got out, once he um got up, come to find out with the whole situation that happened, he had to vomit. <sighs> like it was <sighs> It was scary, like y'all, it was so scary because it's like, I didn't know what was happening. The captain, like, I know they were busy up there, so they like couldn't make any announcement. They made the announcement five minutes later. So, yeah. But I made it, but when I they opened that door, they cop it door, I said, yo, y'all just gave me the worst scare of my life. So, um, yeah, like when I opened the boarding door, like I was shaking, like my teeth was trembling. I actually knocked the, the the phone over, like it got me. But I'm good. But anyways, today was good. Um, I was able to see my girl AB. I mean, I, I looked at her schedule. What am I doing, bro? Hold up, it's kind of cute. I looked at her schedule and I seen that she was um about to land so I met her and surprised her at her gate. It's always great to see her. Um she's probably like the most excited person to have me in Atlanta and I'm so excited. She's so awesome. We graduated together from on flight attendant training. But I met her um we, we couldn't do lunch or anything because I was about to take off and she had just landed. Um so yeah but I'm good now. It's been it's been a very chill day. I had service going to Rolling Oak and coming back. So yeah, okay, you guys. Um, stay with me. Well, don't stay with me, but well, stay with me. But I can't think straight. I'm exhausted, and that that last leg scared me. So I'm about to shower, eat, find some. Yeah, I got these little tuna snack things. I may eat those tuna thing like cracker things and I also have ravioli. Do they have a microwave in here? I hate going downstairs. Oh my feet hurt. I hear a refrigerator. Okay, they got a microwave, so I'm good. So I'm just gonna chill, relax, and um Netflix and con uh, continue watching the new Amsterdam. That's a good show. Okay, bye guys. Okay, good morning, you guys. Today is day three or four. I feel like crap. I feel sick. My throat is, um, it hurts. It's sore. It's probably because, um, I went from being in the, well, went from warm to rain, aka tornadoes, to being cold, to being windy. Yesterday I was sitting as people not sitting waiting for everybody to get on and the wind was just hitting me as I was boarding just hitting me. So that's one thing. And then um I slept with the heat on. Well I took a nap with the heat on and then I um woke up, went back to sleep. And mind you I wasn't sleeping with nothing on. And then, uh, God, I'm tired. And then I got back and, um, can't think. I got up for about two hours just laying here. And then I went back to sleep, but I had cut the air on. So that was an issue. So I went from a lot of temperatures and weather changes. So now I'm about to open this bag. A passenger who was um, non revving gave it to me. Let's see what it is. It gave it to me yesterday. Oh, a bunch of kisses. So 
So I never eat um this is there anything in it like a gift card. Okay, it ain't it's a little bad stuff. But um just to be real, just to be honest, I never eat anything a passenger, even if they're non revving. Like that mean they're one of us, they're a family member of one of us or somebody of one of us. I never eat anything that passengers give me, um, especially if it's homemade. Come on, y'all. I never eat that, and I never eat, um, I never eat anything anybody give me. The only thing I'll do is if it's a gift card, cool, because you can't harm me that way. But you just never know, like, people stick stuff in, like, kids' candies and stuff. Like, you just never know, like, these packages can be, like, People can just insert something inside of it through a needle and you can never see it. So um, I never eat anything anybody give me. So I'm just about to toss this, but yeah. So I'm about to, um, yeah, toss that. And what else? It's a weekend, so their breakfast don't start at until seven. It's currently 6.14. So I pray they got caught because I need something warm on my throat. But yeah, today I got two legs. I go from here, which is Mississippi, to Atlanta. And I think I have a sit today. I sit for like two hours, I think. And then we go to Valdosta. Yeah, I have a two hour and 41 minute sit, basically three hour sit. Then we go to Valdosta. I like going to Valdosta because the breakfast is good in the morning. So, yeah. All right, you guys, stay with me. I'm going downstairs and see if they got coffee. And then we're going to the airport. So, yeah. Okay, you guys. So, um, the hotel did have breakfast this morning. I was like, girl, we appreciate you so much because your girl hungry. And it had coffee out, so I was good. This one of the biscuits that you just pop in the microwave in the bag and they automatically just start cooking. So good. Um, so, yeah. So, this flight is about to be 40 minutes. Yesterday, the get here was 28. So, it depends on, like, the tailwind, the wind that pushes us, all the type of stuff, whatever. But he was like, stay seat the whole time is going to be bumpy, so, yeah. Um, my throat feels a little, well, my, my throat feels okay, but I don't know, I'm going to need some medicine or something, so stay with me. Okay, and now I am back in Atlanta. I'm heading to Starbucks to get a hot chocolate because I'm cold and I need something warm in my throat. And then, um, I don't know about food at this point. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know I'm getting hot chocolate. Let me just sit it on somewhere. I don't know. I may do, oh, I could do, um, muffle up wild wings. And then a natural or something. I don't know. You just don't get food. I'm not, like, full, like, fully need food. But we'll see. Stay with me, as always. All right, I got my Starbucks on that. God, it's so cold. Like, that's how cold it is in the jet bridge. But, um, I went to Buffalo Wild Wings. I got me this, like, shredded chicken, like, pulled chicken wrap with barbecue sauce in it and shredded cheese. It gave me vibes like tin top tacos, but I, what they wraps. But I stay with me. I can just sit on the plane. I got an hour. Okay, guys, I've got to come back yesterday and just update y'all. Um, smooth flight yesterday. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, three legs today here, Atlanta, Montgomery, and back. And then um, that's pretty much it. Um, go home, Dad. I have one off day. So I'm out. But um, I don't know if I'm a, if I come back on this blog, I mean, something important. If not, See y'all when I get in my car. I'm so tired. Okay, you guys, my trip is over. Um. I'm tired. I feel congested. Um, what else? Oh, I forgot to tell you, I met an NFL player yesterday. He was on my flight. Um, his name is Grover Stewart. I really know who he was, but um, I heard him pass. It was like, um, good game or something. 
something he said and i looked it up and i was like oh he's an nfl player let me get a picture so a picture inserted somewhere in here um what else um yeah it was a good trip <sighs> i only have one day off and then i do a six day well it's three days it's two three days together so it's six days so there's really no rest but um other than that that's pretty much it i am about to i think i just want to go home and eat yeah i think i'm gonna make an egg and cheese sandwich and maybe a smoothie maybe i don't know i just don't need to be spending money i gotta hire any more expensive rents now so yeah um that's it remember to like share and subscribe and i'm glad you all was able to tune into my first time and my, well, my first trip being in Atlanta, like living in Atlanta with no commute. Bye.